Hey guys, here with another BIM manager tip. So questions on forms. I think this is massively valuable and you don't hear much about it. Um, but if you want to go down a path of BIM coordination or BIM management, then it's important to understand that, you know, each person's different and their knowledge base is going to be different as well. And also, you know, and I think this is important to kind of keep in mind is that as a BIM manager or a BIM coordinator, you don't need to know everything. Um, you more or less just know how to uh, connect the dots a little bit faster than somebody else or, or find that the, the information, you know, faster. And there's never going to be a point where you understand everything that there is, um, you know, uh, you know, with BIM. But the idea is that, you know, as a resource for other folks is to just find, you know, those those answers a little bit faster for them. And, you know, and that comes back to the people side of it and that each person's different and the way that they approach questions. Um, you know, some some folks won't elaborate too much on what it is that they're asking or they may not even know uh, uh, their skill level may not be up to, um, you know, up to that question yet. And they don't really know the question them, themselves that they're answering may, or asking. Maybe they're asking, you know, the, the wrong questions. And, you know, as a BIM manager, um, you know, those are things that you're going to have to um, work on and, and kind of, um, you know, constantly iterate on and, and trying to trying to identify what it is, you know, different people want or need. Um, and, you know, a great way to kind of train yourself to do that um, is to just get on forms. You know, um, if you're not asking the questions, try to answer questions, uh, even if there's an answer already there. Um, if anything, that'll give you an idea, um, you know, of how those people are doing it. How did they answer it? Um, what was the uh, um, um, what was the solution? What was the conversation that happened between that? What was the questions they asked, you know, the person that was asking the questions? Um, you know, to get a better idea of, of, of what it, they truly wanted. And... And, and to get on there and actually try to figure these out, um, you know, uh, and again, you know, just do do some that 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 are already filled out um, or, you know, find a question that, you know, isn't and, and try to answer it. Uh, if you can't, um, you know, just just ponder on it and kind of keep it there until you do finally find that answer. Um, and it'll just train you to to be a problem solver and, and to also diversify your your different inputs on how people are asking, you know, for asking their questions. Um, so let's let's jump to the next slide and we'll just take a look at one of them. So this is Autodesk Forms and um, this is the Revit one. So we there's a Revit architecture form, MEP structure and API and an ideas one. There's actually, I'm pretty sure there's another one and it's called uh, Revit deployment form or something um, because I got, I posted an API question and I got forwarded to that one, <laughs> um, which I, I didn't even know existed. So there's that one as well, I think, um, unless they, they took it down. But this is one option. Um, there's a variety of questions on here. Um, every day you'll see something different and new. Um, and it's just a great, great way to kind of stay on top of things, uh, learn things you didn't know, uh, learn things um, in a new way, um, learn how people are different in the way that they ask questions. Um, and so it really makes you, you know, have to think on your feet. But, you know, sometimes it consumes a lot of time. So what I do is I set up a kind of a time each day uh, to go through one question on the architectural form and then one question on the MEP form. Um, I might at some point, you know, take a look at the structure form and maybe the Revit API. I'm kind of learning that uh, as I go. So uh, right now, um, it's just the architectural form MEP. So I look at those two each day. Uh, just one question. Um, if there's other ones uh, uh, that I know an answer to, if it's quick, I jump on it. But a lot of times I'll look for a more complicated question that I literally have no idea what it is um, and I'll just try to figure it out myself and then there you know I can build up my own database of, of questions I've answered and, and whatnot and then when I get that from people at my company 
uh, that I work at, then I can, you know, just reference that information. Oh, okay. Like, I answered that before. Um, I know exactly <coughs> what um, you're asking, uh, and I have, um, I, I've already got a form, you know, post, or I already have that question saved somewhere, and uh, I'll just send it to you, or here's the process. Um, this is one option. Uh, there's a variety of forms out there. Uh, what I'll do real quick is I'll, I'll, I'll close this. We'll jump into um, Google real quick and take a look at some of them. All right, so uh, here's Google, and we've got a the Autodesk uh, forms open, and you can see all their products here, and then every form that's associated with them. So um, you know you've got everything from AutoCAD to Maya to 3ds Max, um, and then over here the Revit products. Um, this is where I primarily go. Uh, if you you just find what you need, you just press on it, and it'll take you to the forms. And then depending on, you know, uh, that product, it may have more than one form like uh, this Revit one. And then from here, you can just click on whatever it is that you care about. And then these are pinned ones up here at the top. Um, so they'll pin important information like uh, like uh, Revit, Revit and uh, Revit LT, the 2020 um, point one version. Uh, so, you know, just kind of generic uh, important information. There is one really cool one. Um, I think this one right here. So best book and learning resources. Uh, I've commented on this with my resources. And I, I, I'm pretty sure Dan Stein has, Paul Alban, a lot of other folks as well. So there's a ton of information. If, if you're trying to figure out resources, um, I'd, you know, uh, tell you to go to this, this post, uh, go through there and take a look at them. There's a whole bunch of good information on there. But essentially what you would do is kind of scroll down this list. You'd find um, something in here, you know, that you'd want to uh, answer, it, um, you know, like uh, like this one, locked AutoCAD uh, later elements are not visible in Revit 2019. So, I mean, I have no idea without going into that what's going on. Um, but, you know, you, you open it up. So let's take a look. Open it up. And then, you know, you take a look at uh, the question itself, what they're asking. Um, you elaborate maybe on that question to get more of an idea of what they're asking. And then, um, you know, you post that and just make it a iterative process for you to learn. Uh, if it's something you don't want to share, um, you know, for the most part, this is an answer, you know, a question platform. So if you don't know the answer, it's probably not best to to sit on there and and just you know uh, um, put generic um, comments. But if you want to get an idea of what they're talking about, you know I think that's important. So for sure, you know ask those questions, and if you find a solution, post it on there. If, if not, if you don't want to do that, you know um, um, just compile that stuff down into a document or some type of a database. That you <clears throat> that you then can reference at a later point, so that when you do get uh, questions asked um, in your in your uh, in the company in your company, then you know you'd you'd have you'd have some a reference there that you can use and you know uh, of different questions and and stuff. Um, but again, you know it comes down to um, just being able to kind of pull things together and, and knowing the resources out there. Um, that's where the value that, you know, a BIM man, manager has is that they have a higher level of knowledge when it comes to finding those right answers. They kind of know where to look. And, you know, that takes time to build that. And to do that, you, you know, if you're not getting a lot of questions throughout the day, you know, supplement that with this platform. Um, again, I try to get on here because there's, there's a div diverse amount of questions. And I try to, you know, take a look at, you know, one on the arc architecture form and the MEP form, just to kind of keep myself nimble and understanding, um, you know, the different way people ask questions um, and the, the different things that people are seeing every day. So hopefully this helped. Um, also, you know, real quick, there's also the Augie forms. I know a lot of people use this. This, i pretty sure, was incredibly popular at some point, and it may still be. I don't use it at all. I've never been on here. Um, the only time I run into this is if I'm searching for uh, an answer to something and it takes me to this form. 
Um, I think there's some other ones as well. I just can't think of them right now. But, you know, check these out. Let me know if this was a good tip or not. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like to learn about BIM management or BIM coordination. I'd love to share it with you. Um, if you have any cool ideas, um, you know, reach out to me anytime. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.